Hey guys, welcome back to my Project Life videos. If you've watched my other two videos, then you have seen um, the intro to this album and kind of the supplies I've been using. And then my first trip is also in that first video, which is to um, Houston and Galveston. And the second video is to San Francisco and the Californ California coast. So um, watch those if you haven't seen them, but I'm going to do my third video now, which is going to be Savannah, Georgia, and a couple islands that we visited while we were out there. Um, so, this first section here is a double um, 4x6, and then on the second side we have a 4x6 with two 3x4 pocket. Um, in this top picture I wanted to include the dates, and if you've seen the other ones you know that I don't want it to be like super obvious and, um, I don't know, whatever the date is. I just wanted to kind of blend in but be there if I need to reference it, so I used a Heidi Swap stamp that is numerals and then the month is written in kind of a script font. Um, so I stamped those with the stays on ink and the um, on some scraps of vellum and I just attached it there so it's kind of out of the way but I can reference it if I want to. Um, this first picture is a picture of Casey and nice feet because I really like feet pictures um, when we're traveling. So I wanted to go ahead and include one. Um, and then this together is a wooden veneer um, piece and I haven't attached it yet because I haven't really figured out the best way to do that but I like the way that it looks because it's kind of, um, you know, it gives it some dimension but it's not too bright or jarring or anything, it just kind of works. Um, so then the second picture here is um, from the famous park in Georgia. And they have this really big fountain, and so it's very popular, and I wanted to include a photo from that. And it was kind of dark. I don't really like most of the pictures that I was able to take while we were there. Um, but I went ahead and typed in the name of the park, and I did um, the same thing I've been using throughout the whole book um, on this one. And that's the elephant font that I add in PowerPoint, and it's all caps because I just like the way that that looks the best. Um, so on the next page here, I have... A picture of the Savannah College Art and Design um, Theater and we saw a movie there one night um, which we don't usually do a lot of while we travel but sometimes it's kind of nice especially if you're tired from walking around all day and stuff like that so um, I wanted to include a picture sorry cats um, I wanted to include a picture of that so I can remember that we had a really nice time taking a break and watching that um, this next picture is from our dinner at a Mexican place one night, and we actually ended up going there twice because it was just really good. Um, so it's kind of a picture of our margaritas and our chips and salsa, and I added one strip of the washi tape that I've been using throughout the album on the top, and that's just a white washi tape with black plus signs and then occasionally a cop copper colored plus sign. It's metallic. And then... I saved the little um, silverware paper wrap thing that they put on the silverware from the restaurant um, because it has their like logo and the name of the restaurant on it and I went ahead and attached that and then uh, did some tiny attacher staples here. So nothing too much has been added here. Um, this packet is one of my favorites because um, I just really like this cutout look with the map behind it. So what I did was I took the free map that they give to you like all over the city of Savannah and um, attached it to the bottom of this here and now card which came from a Becky Higgins kit that I bought for something different. It's a Project Life kit and I don't really like the way the corners are rounded on her kits so I don't usually buy them but um, I already had this and so... I just really like the way that this looks and um, so I don't mind too much that the corners are rounded because I think it looks neat. So um, so always play around with stuff and see you know, if you're going to like the way that it looks even though maybe it's not your favorite because I think this ended up being one of my favorite pockets um, in total. Oh and this here is a little um, airplane paper clip that I actually got with an advanced reader copy of a book that I reviewed. Um, unfortunately the book was not great, but I get to keep the paperclip forever, so, <laughs> so I went ahead and added that in there. Um, 
this next page here is kind of different because I have an envelope on it. Sorry, cats again. <laughs> because I have an envelope in it and I do this a couple times or I probably will do this a couple times because I sometimes have more paper memorabilia than there's actually room to display. And I've seen a couple people do this where they put, sometimes it's like Instax photos, which I don't have any of, but um, they just put them in here so that way they have a place and you can look at them while you're looking at the album if you want to, but they're out of the way. And so I had a craft paper envelope that I hadn't used and it was large. So I went ahead and put a bunch of like business cards and other things in this pocket and then I just used some washi tape. Um, so you can see there's like movie ticket stubs and things from the museum, um, business cards, that kind of stuff. And these were nice and some of them were cute but they just, I didn't end up finding a place for them. So I like that I can just kind of pull them out if I want to see them. I probably need a new piece of tape here because this one's kind of sad. Um, anyway, this page is the double three by four with a one four by six, and the first picture here is of a cupcake we went to back in the day bakery, and, um, I'd always seen their cookbook and never really thought about the fact that they probably had their own location, um, and it turned out they were in Savannah, so we had to make a trip there on our last day before we, um, flew home, so, uh, I just... I just um, put some washi tape here at the bottom, it's the same washi tape, and then um, from one of Kelly Perky's stamp sets, I think it's actually a food or menu planning or something kind of set of stamps, I used this five star um, just to kind of represent that it was good and we were not disappointed by this cupcake. Um, and if you know me, you know that we're not really cake people, so it was good. Um, <laughs> and I just tiny attached that on there. And then next to it, I wanted to use their business card somewhere in here because I thought it was really cute that it was round and um, it kind of like gives me a caption for this photo. And so I went ahead and just mounted it on cardstock and cut that down to the right size. Um, the bottom picture here is of the Savannah Cotton Exchange and I didn't do anything to that picture because I just really like the way it was. I occasionally think about adding something to it, but it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see if I change it someday. Um, I already talked about the pocket, but if you're wondering, the washi tape is from um, MT, and I think I got it at Paper Source. I'm not completely sure. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen that I have these um, American Crafts die cuts of the different states, and they're kind of a chalkboard outline kind of thing, um, and I couldn't pass them up on the clearance, so I've been finding places for them in this album. And this one is another one where I didn't really know where to put it until I added this pocket. <laughs> and so I just stapled it on here. And I like the way that it looks. Um, I might end up doing something on the back of this later, but I don't know what I want to do with it. So, so far I've just been leaving it. Um, this next page is another quadruple 3x4. Um, this first picture is of KC at a restaurant that we tried called Zunzi's and they have these sandwiches there that are really good and really big and I liked this picture of Casey because he's like in mid-chew and he and you, it's just kind of like a whoa this is good kind of face um so I don't know he may not like it too much but it's one of my favorites so I went ahead and included it um I you can see I stamped out this um stamp that says big bite and that's another one of from Kelly's Perky's food stamp set I think that one might be, um, I think it might be called Food Coma, but I'm not sure. I'll link them below. But anyway, I stamped it because it seemed like an appropriate title for this picture, but you can see I haven't attached it because I don't really know where I want it to go, and it's kind of big, so I think I might not actually end up using it, but I just leave it in there for now. <laughs> um, this next picture is of... Um, the founder of the Girl Scouts house because she's from Savannah and um, it's a really beautiful house you can tour it during the day but we decided to go on a ghost tour because it seemed like something out of the box but something related to the location we were visiting and you know kind of a fun random thing to do um, we didn't end up loving the ghost tour it was pretty hokey but um, you know we were glad to try something new I think I said something similar in my San Francisco 
post for like multiple things so keep that in mind like if you have a picture of something that you didn't love there's you know you can still include that that's part of traveling is not liking everything that you do and that's okay you know sometimes there's a funny story that goes with it or whatever and it's nice to remember it so um I just typed on this picture eek ghost tour um because it's kind of dark like it's really not easy to take pictures in the dark in old houses so I thought that lightened it up a little bit and it kind of captioned it and it showed that we did do a ghost tour even though you know I don't think anything else in here is related to it um, this one is just the inside of Zunzi's where we got that sandwich and it's kind of just a tiny indoor bar with a kitchen and you just order and then you go outside and eat. So I took a picture of that because it was really colorful and fun and the guys were really nice who worked there. So I went ahead and typed Zunzi's um, and I sometimes like to do things like this. I don't know what you would call that, like vertical blocking um, just because it's kind of a different way something different to look at and it also takes up a lot of the photo but not so much that you can't see it if you're looking at it um the next one here is a picture of me and i bought this kimono while we were on our trip and then we went on a date night to see that movie um, because we were pretty tired from walking um so much every day so i just kind of like this picture because i don't always get a ton of pictures of me um that aren't just like selfies with me and casey in them so um, anyway, it's just a picture of me, and I have two strips of washi tape here. One's kind of folded over the back side a little bit. Um, it's the same washi tape, and then I stamped Just Be Your Selfie, which is another one of Kelly Perky's kits, which I'll link in, um, and then I tiny attached it. Um, this page is the back of that quadruple 3x4 and then a double 4x6. And um, we went to two art museums while we were in Savannah, and they were both really great, and they are all under the same admission, including touring a historic home. So if you like art and you're going to Savannah or you think you might want to consider going to an art museum, I would recommend this one because they were very different from one another, and they were very inexpensive, and all of the people there were super nice. Um, so I felt like it was a really good value. Um, and they also give you a little punch card so you have a week to visit all three if you don't want to do them all on the same day, which is really awesome because you don't always get that option. Um, and art museums are kind of big and you don't want to go to all of them in the same day, so I loved it. Um, so highly recommend if you're going to Savannah. Um, so there was a modern museum, which was the Jepson, and then there was the Telfair Museum, which was more traditional. And so I included a picture from each and I didn't add anything to either of them. But I kind of wanted to show, you know, the diversity and how much we enjoyed them um, by keeping them in this book. Um, the bottom one here is of our pizza from a place called Vinny Van Gogh's. And it's kind of a local haunt for people. And we love pizza, so <laughs> we had to try it. And they have these absolutely gigantic pieces of pizza. So I thought having a picture would be kind of fun to remember it by. Um, and again, I just typed that in PowerPoint, and it's elephant all caps. This photo is another foot picture of me and Kyle, um, me and Casey. <laughs> and I just like the way that it looked, and I really like to include the feet pics when I can. So I just added two strips of washi tape and then stamped eat well, travel often, and tiny attached it, and that's another Kelly Perky stamp. Um, the next page, this is just a picture from outside the Telfair Museum. And if you watch my Houston video, you know that I had a picture where all the words that I typed were too close to the bottom and then got cut off. Um, pretty much cut in half so you couldn't really read them. And so I covered it up with some washi tape to hide it. Because um, I like to go with the flow and I don't like to waste things that I've already used. Um, this one didn't cut off nearly as badly, but it did cut off the bottom of the words that say Savannah, Georgia, but I just decided to leave it because, again, I don't really like to waste things if it's not, you know, super noticeable. So I'm just leaving it, but they had some really cool statues out there that I really liked. Um, so I just typed Telfair Museum of Art and Elephant and then Savannah, Georgia in quicksand, all caps. Here at the bottom, I have... Um, a postcard from a coffee, a local coffee place that we visited, and it was called the Coffee Fox, 
and I actually got a lot of things from them. I have like a sticker and some other stuff, so it was really hard to choose which ones to include in this book. But um, when I wanted to include this coffee sleeve, because it was so cute, it has the fox and the footprints and stuff, I didn't really know what else to mount it on, and so I just decided to put it on the postcard that I got from the shop because the colors made sense. So um, it doesn't really go with anything else in the spread, which sort of bothers me, but I just wanted to include it, and it's not going to go with anything else either, so, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, the pictures now, you, you can probably tell instantly, are from a different location in Georgia, so we drove to Tybee Island, which is about a 20 or 30 minute from Savannah, um, drive from Savannah, and um, it was so great. We drove out there several times, and one of the main draws is that they have this lighthouse, and I really like lighthouses, and I always wanted to go up into a lighthouse, um, which you can't do everywhere. So when I read that you could go up and visit this lighthouse and climb to the top, um, it seemed like the perfect thing to do. And we drove out on three different days, and finally on the third day we made it up there. So if you go to visit this lighthouse, go early in the morning, and um, it might do you good to call them and make sure it's not too windy because if it's too windy then you can't go all the way to the top because it's not safe which makes total sense but it is frustrating if you drove all the way out there <laughs> and also they have kind of weird hours they close a little bit early um, or like they stop admitting people a little bit early so um, call ahead it's definitely worth it but that was the reason that we went to this island since we went three times we ended up with a lot more pictures um, so here's a whole spread about it. Um, it's a double 4x6 pocket and a single 4x6 with two 3x4s. The first picture here is a close-up picture of the lighthouse light, um, which is kind of interesting to look at, but it's also kind of dark. So I also stamped this lighthouse stamp, which is from um, a Kelly Perky travel set. And then I stamped In Pursuit of Big Adventures, which is two separate stamps, also from Kelly Perky. So that kind of just like gives me an idea, hey, we went to this place that has a lighthouse, you know, just kind of a sort of a title. Otherwise, you may not know what you're really looking at here as well. Um, this bottom one doesn't really go with anything else and it kind of bothers me, but I still wanted to include it. So I did. Um, it's a postcard. It just says greetings from Tybee Island with a bunch of kind of vintage looking ladies running through the water. And I just think it's funny. Um, then on the next page there's a picture of me um, on the beach, by the beach, and I kind of want to add something else to it but I haven't figured out what yet so for now it's just plain. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll add something later. Um, the second picture is a picture of me and Casey and you kind of can't really tell but this is the lighthouse in the background and it ended up looking a little more like a hat or something than the lighthouse but it was the second day that we tried to go to the lighthouse, I could not, um, because it was too windy. So, um, we went ahead and took a picture and, um, I did just a tiny bit of journaling there and it just says you and me by the sea, a perfect day. Um, because we just really enjoyed all the time that we spent out on the island. Um, so again, if you've been watching these, I don't do a lot of journaling, but every once in a while you'll see it in here. Um, the last picture is from the day when we finally got to go to the lighthouse, and, um, it's just a picture of the lighthouse with the cottage and the grounds in the background, and I did two strips of washi tape here, and then stamped my travel tail, which is another Kelly Perky stamp, and I tiny attached it. Um, this is another spread from Tybee Island, and... I hadn't yet typed anything that said Tybee Island, so on this picture of the lighthouse, I typed Tybee Island, Georgia, an elephant. And then above that, I stamped Say Yes to New Adventures on grid paper. And that's a Kelly Perky stamp as well. And then I used uh, the same kit of chipboard stickers from my previous videos. Um, it's a Becky Higgins chipboard sticker set. Um, and I just put this asterisk here to kind of like, I don't know, move your eye upward. 
Um, the second picture is from inside the lighthouse cottage. They just had a bunch of really cute vintage things in there and I loved this green color and it also works with my sarong um, in this picture. It kind of, again, dries, draws your eye diagonally. The bottom picture is a picture of me and KC and it was the day we finally got up on the lighthouse, like climbed, climbed all the way to the top and um, this is a obviously a picture from the top. Our hair is blowing everywhere and you can see everything in the background from up high. Um, so we're obviously really happy to be up there and I used more washi tape here and then stamped destination which seemed extra appropriate considering we've been trying to get up there for so long. Um, and then I tiny attached it again. Okay, so my last video cut out because I um, had an alarm go off on my phone. <laughs> I film all of these from my phone. So um, where I left off in Georgia is on Tybee Island and Kyle and Casey and I had just made it all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. So the second page here is a double four by six. Um, and then this picture at the top is just me and it's a really close up picture that Casey took because I was just happy, like so happy to finally be, um, check that off my bucket list, get to the top of the lighthouse. And so um, I like this picture because I look really happy and like my hair is just all over the place and crazy. Um, you can kind of read my necklace there um, because it's being reflective and it says mermaid. <laughs> which seemed appropriate for being at the beach on an island. Um, so I just really like that picture and I didn't do anything to it. Um, the bottom picture here I'm not very happy with because my toes are really painted red in this picture and it just like, printing it on the selfie from my phone kind of shifted it downward and so it cut off my toes. So it just looks kind of strange, like it's just framed really weird. But if you've been watching any of these videos, you know that I don't like to waste them. So I went ahead and used it. <laughs> but I'm still not completely happy about it, so I may reprint this. I'm not sure. But um, I used another wooden veneer word here, and it just says remember, and it's not attached since I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that picture there or not. Um, this next section is from Jekyll Island in Georgia, which is another island, and it's more of like a nature preserve golf kind of area um, than Tybee, um, but I had a conference there and so we spent a couple days there. Um, so this first picture is, uh, this first spread is the back of that double 4 by 6 and then there's a single 4 by 6 with a double 3 by 4 pocket over here. Um, the first picture is a picture from the beach there in Jekyll Island. And it was just really beautiful, and I couldn't quite bring myself to add anything to the picture, so I just left it there like that. <laughs> um, the section pic second picture is a picture of Casey on the beach, and I just really like it because he was being so silly and happy, and I think he was just enjoying, like, you know, being somewhere relaxing. And um, anyway, so I just think it's cute. It's kind of blurry, but um, it still makes me happy, so I decided to leave it. Um, so I didn't add anything to that one either. Um, the second page here, I used another piece from a Becky Higgins kit, and um, I talked about the other one. I don't really like how the corners are rounded in her things. Um, I like the straight corners better, but I do like the look of these cutouts with things behind them, and I already had them, so again, I used this here. Um, it just was perfect with an arrow, which like this whole beach vibe was really lovely. Um, and so underneath it, I wrote sunset on Jekyll Island, Georgia. So perfect sunset on Jekyll Island, Georgia. Um, the thing that I mounted it on is another like little piece of memorabilia. I guess I didn't actually stick it down. <laughs> um, but this is from a mini golf place and we kind of like mini golf. Um, I like goon golf, I guess I should say. But anyway, um, I wanted to keep it in here, but it wasn't specifically beautiful. So I cut it down so that it would fit and I could take it out and we could look at it if we wanted to. Um, so I guess that's a way to sort of like put in your mementos or do a little bit of journaling or keep that paper that's not a photo um, without actually displaying it if, it if you don't like the way it looks. Um, the second picture is from the Georgia Sea Turtle Rescue and it's another foot pic of me and Casey. And I didn't add anything to it but I just kind of like the little turtles they had painted on the asphalt there. Um, this last picture on the spread is another beach, it's 
sunset picture. Um, and it was just so serene and I almost didn't add anything to it, but I was <laughs> kind of feeling like there was not a lot going on here and I still kind of feel that way. So I may add more things later, but I decided to rip a piece of grid paper and this might be packaging from something. I'm not really sure. Um, so it's kind of like a rough edge here and then I stamped rest and relaxation and beach and those are both from Kelly Perky travel sets. Um, and then I just tiny touched them. So it doesn't really get in the way of the spread, it kind of adds something else to the page without being too abrasive. Um, this is the last page in my Georgia spreads, and I did another one of these cutout pages from Becky Higgins, and um, I didn't really know what to do underneath it. I initially had a map of Jekyll Island because I kind of wanted it to look like the Savannah page with the map that I like so much, the, um, this one, but it just didn't look good at all. And so I ripped it off and it was kind of messy, like it's all rough on the bottom, but um, later I decided with this, this food picture over here that there was so much yellow on this corn, but no bright colors anywhere else. So I went ahead and found a piece of yellow paper from one of the um, A Beautiful Mess Messy Box kits that's kind of a very similar color to this corn. And I really love yellow, so it ended up working out. Um, I don't know, these spreads still aren't my favorite, so I might change some things, but I like it a lot better than I liked the map. Um, so it just says today, which I kind of like. Um, the next picture is a picture from the Georgia Sea Turtle Rescue Center. Um, they have a hospital and you can learn about sea turtles and it's very interesting and informative. Um, so we put a picture in here. A lot of the pictures just weren't like super pretty, but we really enjoyed our time there, so I, I wanted to include the sign. Um, this bottom picture is the sunset um, over the river in Jekyll, which was pretty, and it's different from the beach picture, so I wanted to include that as well. Um, the last page is the double 4 by 6 and this photo is from a dinner that we had on the river. Um, it was part of the conference. They were doing a low country boil, and we wanted to try that. Um, it was kind of outrageously expensive, but... Um, but it was fun and we tried something new but it was also really hot here with the sun and so we we didn't stay a super long time but uh we had a good time but i did think the picture turned out kind of neat with the silhouettes of the palm trees and the sun flare um but it was kind of dark and so i ended up adding this wooden veneer word and it just says adventure and like all the other wooden veneer words, it's not actually tacked down, but um, I like the way that it looks, so I think I'll keep it there for, I'll probably attach it at some point. <laughs> um, then I have, um, like I said, we went to the Low Country Boil, and um, for people who haven't had it before, it's basically when you boil like shrimp and crawfish and potatoes and corn and all these different things together, and then kind of like dump it out on the table <laughs> and people go up and get it um but then they also had like salad and um hush puppies and other like red beans and rice and kind of cajun southern foods so it was really good and it was fun to try and i didn't have a lot of food pictures in this spread which is kind of weird because we had a lot of good food but um i decided to write around the plate low country boil um it looks kind of weird. I just didn't have a lot to say about it, so it's kind of spread out, but um, it works. It gives me the caption that I was looking for, so um, anyway, that's the end of my Georgia spread. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check them out, um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Next time, I will show you the Nashville spreads. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.